Hey guys, back with another crypto mining video. Today I wanted to talk with you about how to use your 1080 Ti to mine Ravencoin. You've probably seen recently Ravencoin mooning, basically, from uh, 5 cents. I started mining it when it was about 3 cents. And today I think it's around 23 cents, which is considerable increase. And there's a lot of momentum behind Ravencoin. A lot of people wanted to get into it. And if you want to mine it with your, your gaming PC, you can certainly do that. But first, take a look at this disclaimer. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about Ravencoin. So it's a peer-to-peer -peer blockchain handling efficient creation and transfer of assets from one party to another. What's How's it different from Bitcoin? It rewards 5,000 Raven instead of 50. Bitcoin block time is one minute instead of 10. The total coin supply is 21 billion instead of 21 million. The new algorithm, Kapa, which allows for decentralized mining. It's basically a coin that is for GPU mining. It's a GPU friendly coin, if you will. And it's got uh, projects from gold assets, like hard assets, physical assets, land deeds, energy credits, etc. You can read, read about it here, and I highly suggest that you do that. So ravencoin.org. So the first thing you want to do is establish a wallet. If you don't have one, a Ravencoin wallet, you could do that by using one of their wallets or a third-party wallet. You want to have a wallet where Ravencoin is supported. It is support. I'm using Atomic Wallet where it's supported, but these are other ones that you can check out. Exodus is another one that you've probably heard of that's pretty popular. You make your choice on which wallet you want. Do your research. Make sure it's a safe place to, to secure it. I actually uh, have a hardware wallet as well, Ledger a Nano X, where I keep uh, all my crypto assets. In any event, establish a wallet so you have a receive wallet for your mining, and you're going to need that when you set this up. All right, so I mine on Flypool. You can go to ravencoin.flypool.org, and all the information about Flypool is there. I've been mining on there for some time, and it's been fine. I actually mine uh, ETH on here as well. So all you need to do is go to Ravencoin. Once you have your wallet established, go to ravencoin.flypool.org, hit Start Mining. You're going to see some stuff here of how to connect. Now, it's going to might be a little bit confusing, at first, but we're going to explain it. Save this stuff here, the, the, the server information for later when we set up our miner. Uh, but you're going to want to download a software miner. Now, be careful when you download these. You may see your computer give you security messages when you download these. Obviously, download software at your own risk. And uh, if you have a problem with that, then I would stop right here. But uh, I use T-Rex Miner. I haven't had any issues with it. So... But you might want to, you know, check out some of these other ones if you think they're appropriate. But we're going to talk about T-Rex Miner today, which is what I use to, to, to mine Ravencoin. So I'm using Windows NVIDIA. So basically you click on here and it's going to take you to a GitHub where it's got T-Rex, the latest version of T-Rex, okay? Now, when you come down here, you're going to see the executables. It might be a little bit confusing. Simple as far as whether you're Windows or Linux. So I'm Windows. You're going to see a CUDA 10. Dot zero zip, 11.1 zip, and a 9.2. So let me explain. The 9.2 is for older cards like 9 series NVIDIA GPUs. The 10 is for older drivers. And the 11 is if you're using current drivers. So I use the 11 because I have fairly current drivers. And they're going to be optimized for those current drivers. So what you want to do is just click on this. And it'll download it to your downloads file. You'll want to extract that. Okay. And then once you extract that, you I, I always copy it to my G drive, other mining stuff here. But you, you'll see this folder right here, T-Rex.1.0.19.11 win CUDA 11.1. All right, so that's basically the zip file unzipped. All right, so we're going to open that up. Now, you're not going to see a, these are, what these are, these are what they call batch files. So this is going to have the configuration that t-rex needs to run your mining and that's where you put like the server information and your receive wallet so we'll talk about that in a second all right you're not going to see a batch file for flypool so what you can do is just basically take the, the the raven two miners okay which is very similar and use that as the sample so what we're just going to set one up here so i'm going to copy and paste all right and i'm going to rename this and we're going to call it flypool fly pool all right 
And what we'll do now is we'll go to Notepad and we'll open that up. You can see I'm already, you want to you want to basically go to this directory. You won't see it here. You have to go down to the bottom here and choose all files. Okay. So here we go. Let's, let's find the one we just created. Where is it? Fly pool. Okay. And you, now the things we're going to change here is we're going to change the server, the port number, and we're going to change, this is really important. That's your receive crypto wallet for Ravencoin. So here's what, here's what we do now. We take, let me just close, we'll leave this open here. We'll go back to getting started. And you can see here we've got stratum.ravencoin.flypool.org. So we want to put that right in here. So we're going to copy that. Okay. Open this up and we're going to basically place that right in here. Okay. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the port number. Now, I don't use a encrypted port number, so I'm using just a stratum port number, so it's going to be 333. You can cut and paste it. I'm just going to type it in. Okay? That's it for that. Now, this is probably the most important thing, because if you don't change this, then this person, whoever owns this wallet, is going to get all your cryptocurrency. <laughs> all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your wallet. I'm going to sign it to my Atomic wallet. All right, so this is what I've got in my Atomic wallet. So again, I remember I transfer stuff out of here a lot. So for example, I've got, here's my Ravencoin. So all I do is I click on Ravencoin and you can see I've got a hundred Ravencoin in here right now. So I want to do a, I want to receive, okay? I want the receive wallet. So I'm going to hit this, okay? And I'm going to copy this right there okay that's my receive wallet and I'm going to paste that in here okay and you just want to double check it make sure it's correct okay and then I always put a ring on their name like I put like BAM01 or something all right so that's why I know it's an identifier and that's basically it all you do is save this now okay and we can close this so now my receive wallet is in there, okay, and I'm all set to go. I'm going to go to uh, my dashboard, okay. You can see there's my wallet. See, I've been mining here for overnight, I should say, so I've got some unpaid balance in here. But you can see that's my wallet, right? The way I do that is I go into here and I enter my miner address. So what I'll do is I'll just go to, I'll take this address that's going to be here. I'll just go to miner address and just enter it here. And boom, this information will come up. And that's pretty simple. Okay. So what's going to happen now is now that we've got this configured, all right, we're going to, this is going to save this. Okay. And then what we do now is we open up our directory where we've got T-Rex. Okay. And then this is the, this is the bat file that we just created, this fly pool. All I do is basically double click on that. Okay, hit run. This is the security running. Again, this is something that Windows is going to tell you because it's not from a verified publisher. Okay, and you'll see that it'll start to run. All right, it's, it's basically finds my 1080 Ti. It's generating the DAG file. Okay, it takes a little bit of the time. going through the DAG process. It should take it to be here in a few seconds. We start to, we should start to mine. Now the hash rates are going to be lower here because I'm recording on the same computer. So I'm, I'm going to show you how to configure the 1080 Ti to get optimal hash rates. Okay. All right, there you go. We just picked up our first share. So we know that it's working. It's you got the green okay, one of one, one of two. The hash rates right now are pretty bad. This this should be about 24, 25, and I'm gonna show you that. So basically that's how you configure it. So now I know I'm mining Ravencoin on Flypool. All right. And what'll happen is it'll take a little bit of time, so don't get too concerned. 
it'll take a little bit of time and you can actually verify your address here this is what i should tell you so if you look up here when we first start t-rex you should see your address here uh, you'll start to see ravencoin start to build up as you process more shares okay don't be alarmed if it takes a little bit of time you want to definitely give it a little bit of time so i'm going to i'm going to stop this now because i want to show you how to do some configurations but first before we do that one place you want to you might want to check out is bitcointalk.org. There is a um, specific thread there for T-Rex. A lot of questions are answered in there. If you have any questions, you can post them there. So you might want to check that out. All right. So now let's uh, let me switch to my, my cam review so I can show you with how I do the configuration of of the 1080 Ti to get the most hash rate. So let's take a look at that. Alrighty, as you can see, we're getting close to 25 mega hash and mining Ravencoin here on Flypool with a 1080 Ti. You can see my configuration there. I'm using EVGA's uh, uh, precision to do the configuration. You can use MSI Afterburner as well. Your power target, your GPU clock, and GPU clock has a lot to do when you're mining Ravencoin, so this is something you want to look at. And also your memory clock offset, all right? So these three blocks here, are the temperatures of GPU power and memory are things you want to watch. You certainly don't want to let it go above the green. If it's in the blue, it's even better. Lower temperatures, the better. Now, every GPU is going to be different. I did a lot of tinkering and found that these configuration, this configuration has basically gets me the optimal hash rate at the lowest power. You want to really try to conserve power because that's where your cost is, right? So I'm at 75% power target, which is 184 watts, uh, somewhere around there. It fluctuates as you as as it goes through, and you'll actually see the the mega hash will actually fluctuate as well. Clock offset, GPU clock offset at plus 120. I've tinkered with this uh, one between 105 and 120, and sometimes it's better at 105, and sometimes it's better at 120, but this tends to be about the right setting. And then memory clock offset at 450. Okay. You you want maybe want to start here with if you have a 1080 Ti. I'm using mine has micron memory. Um, you might may want to be different if you've got Samsung memory in your GPU. But uh, you may want to start here and then just tinker with it to find the right balance. You can see I just picked up a share at 25 mega hash right there, which is really kind of like the number. I like to see with this card 25 mega hash provided that the temperatures stay relative you know, relatively low all right i think these are pretty decent temperatures at a pretty good um return on hash rate and power as well <clears throat> i mean we could actually bring this down to, let's say we bring this down to 72 okay what we're probably going to do we're going to see our voltage go down, our watts go down, okay, but you're also going to see our hash rate. You can see our hash rate's already starting to go down here, 25.15, 25.05, 24 24.98. It's starting to go down because we're using less power in the GPU. And then we'll probably get a block here where it says that we're using 172 watts of power versus 186. And we're getting an average of 24 mega hash. And this may go, 24.71. This may go down even further, this next few, these next few uh, shares here. But all these OKs are little shares that we're getting for using, having, having our GPU solve the, the problem of, for the particular block that the whole mining pool is working on. There we went down to 23.82. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back up to 75. It apply. By the way, I've got the fan speed at I think 65%. So you want to look at that too. Make sure that you can use your fans to keep things cool. So this seems to be about the right. And you can see here it says 65% of fan speed. It'll tell you. Uh, T Rex will tell you right here exactly what the temperature is. 56 Celsius, 183 power, 65% fans. All right. So that's something to look at. Now hopefully we'll start to see. It might take a few seconds. We'll start to see the uh, hash rate go up here. Give it a few seconds. Be 
can see 23.78. So it's starting to come up a little bit. And the power usage has come up as well. We were at 172 before. There we go, 23.98, 97. Probably get to, it'll probably get to 24 next here. 23.97. Eventually, it'll probably get back. Uh, it'll it'll work its way up back to 24 and me, me, and probably around 25. Just takes a little bit of time. It seems that uh, for for your GPU to increase the hash rate. It's a lot to learn when mining cryptocurrency. Uh, but again, this is, you know, it's a nice way to earn a little passive income. And again, the main thing is you want to make sure that your temperatures are reasonable levels so you're not putting a whole lot of pressure on your GPU. I mean, if you're running this at 75 Celsius all the time across the board, you know, uh, that's uh, that's pretty high, right? So, you you know, you can you see here that we're in the blue, 57 Celsius, 59 Celsius, 62 Celsius, reasonable temperatures uh, and here we just got it. We just picked up a share at uh, 2407. So we're starting to tick up again. All right. So uh, be careful when you're doing these configurations. You know, you want to go in small increments, maybe start at 72% or 70% power and work your way up by 1% for the GPU clock offset. You know, maybe start at plus 50 and work your way up for the memory. Maybe start at plus 100 and work your way up slowly. Fan speed, you know, I, I just, you want to, it usually it's going to be about 65, 68% with these type settings to keep things cool. But again, you're trying to conserve power, right? All right, so that's basically how to mine Ravencoin using a 1080 Ti. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I hope this was helpful. Hit that like button if you like what you saw. And, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more cryptocurrency videos. Guys, have a great day. And by the way, we just picked up a share there for almost 25 mega hash. Take care, guys.